Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Josh Inspires. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own Minecraft server that you and your friends can play on. Completely free, very simple, very easy. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is obviously download the Minecraft server, which you can at Minecraft.net, uh, all this download server. You can just Google it and it'll give you this page. It should look something like this. You just hit download with this. Now, once it's done downloading, it'll give you this little message. You just hit keep, and then you take this server file, drag it to your desktop or wherever you want. Just go ahead and drag it to your desktop for now. Yeah, so now that you have the server on your desktop, you want to just go ahead and create a new folder. You can name this folder whatever. You don't have to change the name. It's fine. You can just drag the server right into it. And there you go. Now you have this server file. It is an executable, uh, executable jar file. So this means you want to uh, open it and you want to run it with Java. If you don't have Java installed, you can just Google it and just install it by Java download. Yeah, there you go. If you just go here, you can just download Java. It's pretty simple. Install it quick and easy. And then you just run this server with it by double clicking it. And as you see, a couple of files have popped up. This thing called the EULA is a text file, so just run it or open it with Notepad by clicking on it. And this just says that you accept the EULA and all that, so just change this false to true. You can exit it and save it. And now you can go ahead and click the server again to run it with Java. And then you'll get this little message from Windows Defender. Just hit Allow Access. And you get this little thing. Now this is the console for your server. This is basically where you can input all your commands and everything. So basically it's just go ahead and starting. And there we go. So it's created every all the files it needs. So you can go ahead and close this for the moment. And if you don't want to do that, you can actually just type stop into the console and hit enter. It'll save everything. And as you can see, it has created all these files that are part of the server. It's got the world file and all this stuff. But we're not done yet. What you want to do next is you want to go to vpn.net and get down. Uh, you want to download Log Me and Hamachi. So you just want to hit download now. You just want to go ahead and click on it so it opens like so. Then you just want to go ahead and hit next. And you just want to hit, uh, you've read and agreed to all this, hit next. You can create a shortcut on the desktop if you would like. It'd make it easier. It doesn't matter where this installs. I'm going to go ahead and install this on my in my uh, E drive. I'm just going to go ahead and install this. Uh, I'm just going to create it in the folder called Hamachi. Hit OK. And you don't have to install LastPass. It's just an add. Just go ahead and hit install. Click yes. It will add it. It'll ask you, just hit yes on the little thing. It's going to go ahead and install Hamachi. And what Hamachi is going to do is it's going to allow you to run your server on an IP address and allow your friends to also connect to your IP address uh, with Hamachi. Then you want to go ahead and launch Hamachi. So go ahead and hit finish. And so there you go. You're going to get this little log me in Hamachi. Just go ahead and hit this power button. And now it's going to ask you to sign up. So just go ahead and click sign up. It will pro yeah, here we go. It will open up here. Uh, just input your email and password, create an account for Logme and Hamachi. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of my many emails. There we go. Create my account. There we go. Logme and Hamachi is. Uh, enabled. Now that you have your account and everything on Logme and Hamachi, you just want to go ahead and hit create new network. You just make your network name anything you want. It does not matter. You can put spaces, you can do whatever. Then you just create a password, which is the thing that people will use to uh, uh, join the network. So then you just hit create. So my uh, Server name on Logme and Hamachi, Appleseed42 has been created. Now what you want to do that you have that is you want to go to your little server thing again and you want to create right click and create a new text document. 
uh, then you just want to double click it, open it. You want to go back to here. You want to copy this command, which you can find in the description or on the Minecraft website, where I will put all the things you need in the um, in the Minecraft description. <laughs> no, in the video description, uh, all the links you need. Go ahead and then just copy this whole. You can just copy this whole command, and you just want to paste it into here. And then what you want to do is you want to uh, first, before you actually do it, you want to change this to server.jar, not Minecraft, server.jar. Yeah, so it should just say Java, all this, all this, server.jar, no GUI. And then you want to change this number to how much memory you want to give your server. So the more players you're going to have on it, the more memory you want. So right now it has one gigabyte of memory. As you can see, 1024 megabytes. That's what this M stands for. So if you were to have like two or three players on it, you would want somewhere from like two to four gigabytes of uh, memory. So I'm going to go ahead and just give it four gigabytes of memory because I can and by typing 4,000 megabytes. And then what you want to do is you want to hit save as and it will save it into the server. You want to go down to all files and then you want to rename this to start.bats and then you want to save it. Then you will want to go ahead and click this little start. It will open up this command prompt. And then you want to hit allow access. And as you can see, it's preparing the spawn area. It's doing all the Minecraft stuff. And there we go. Now what you want to do is you want to open your Minecraft to test it out. There we go. Now that we're on Minecraft, you just go ahead and go to multiplayer. You can hit add server. You can just uh, do this and rename my server. You want to go ahead and for the server address, since if you are going to be hosting the server, you can actually put local host uh, and it'll con con uh, connect you if you go ahead and click on it. As you can see, so if you're running the server, just hit local host, it'll connect you. Uh, however, if you were uh, if you were someone else, if you were your friend trying to join your server, what you want them to do first is you have to have them download LogMe and Hamachi. They need to install it, create an account, and then when they do that, they need to go up to network, hit join an existing network. They need to put in whatever your server name is on LogMe and Hamachi, so they would put in Appleseed42. Then they would put the password in, and I can't join the server because I'm already a part of it. But once they're inside your server on here, you'll be able to see them on LogMe and Hamachi, and what they'll do is they'll actually join with your IPv4 address right here. If you right click up here and you hit copy IPv4, this is the, if you were the host, this is the IP you would give all your friends for them to join. You hit done, and then you just join your server. And there we go. As you can see, your Minecraft server is ready to go. It works fine. And that's how you do it. That is how you install and make your own Minecraft server for free in Minecraft. Works like a charm. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and also a comment. Uh, you can check out everything in the description if you need. And I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Peace out.